Morning guys, just wanted to do a follow-up reading on Suzanne Morphew. Uh, I wanted to go over some things. So, let's start <clears throat> here. Um, the Maiden, which I thought could be the mistress. Maybe the mistress and the needle. The fact that there's lots of threadery going on. Um, I don't know if someone's into fashion, creating clothes, knitting, sewing. <coughs> Excuse me. Something to that effect. The other thing that I caught in this was the wheel spoke. Um, the other thing is the elemental, elementalists. Um, I feel like these are the same person. So the needle was talking about forgiveness, and then we have this beautiful young woman that's being protected five of wands as you know to me is as you know I like to refer to it as someone getting um, bludgeoned hit in the head with a heavy object and then they have five impasses that they need to get around in order to resolve the situation so let me start by saying one I don't I know I heard somewhere and I don't know if it's true I just find it odd the uh, possible alleged connection between Barry Morphew and Delphi so that's one um, in saying this is it possible that this is a revenge blackmail situation an eye for an eye something to that effect so if it's not the situation of blackmail revenge is it a situation of control and money within the marriage and fidelity within the marriage I don't know which party um, I know who I'm leaning towards. Could be both, could be one, could be none. Could somebody's potential mistresses or lovers have been competing? There's a battle of the mistresses. Um, and then with this card again, the moth, talking about cycles. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Uh, that wheel. So cycles, direction, compulsion, and obsession. So was somebody obsessed with somebody else? All right. Um, now, <clears throat> let me drink some water. Sorry, guys. usually means that somebody needs to talk <clears throat> so I'm going to now worst case scenario I'm gonna be real with you guys getting these three cards says to me that unfortunately she might no longer be with us uh, these cards and a couple of other cards say that to me so in that scenario, if that was, if that's a possibility, uh, was she brutally murdered, possibly dismembered, stored in something, hidden in two or more places, gearing towards out of state, possibly under a bridge, and put into or near water. And the reason I say this is um, 
This came out for Gannon, Colorado. This came out for Gannon in Florida. Uh, and this is This is where his body probably was in the beginning, like one of the first places. This is where it ended up, and then with the bridge, and then this sort of bike path. And like I said, this is the Madeline McCann card when I asked her where her body was. Um, so she dismembered and put into water and some sort of a vessel. The other card that came out for Suzanne is the tunnel. And this has also come out for Gannon. The tunnel. And I will put it up and let you put it on pause. So it says Monday, sexual disturbance, a swindle, loss of wits, diseases of the blood, angst, false trust, an irrational project, an unpleasant discovery, bad luck, an execution, boredom, and panic. So we'll go over all of those at a later date. I just wanted to get this out for now. Now I'm going to go over here. With the Three of Pentacles. Ten of Swords, Seven of Wands, Seven of Cups. Three of Pentacles is, to me... Uh, some sort of, like I said, a organized crime unit. Ten of Swords. When you have the Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles. And the Five of Wands with the tunnel, to me, this speaks of death. So, some sort of planned crime organization, an argument about money, a very rapid, quick, heated argument that could have led to rage. Um, somebody moving and somebody being defiant and standing their ground again. Now I want to go back over here. <coughs> Excuse me. read these because I read the dictionary version in the other reading, but I want to read what it says here for these cards. Uh, so, the miser, the nine of pentacles, Hoarding wealth, those who are always unhappy or who find money to be, <clears throat> excuse me, meaningless in matters. The Elementalists, the Five of Wands, 
nature triumphing over civilization, casting aside society's expectations for one's true self, natural disasters. And then for the rogue, which is the Ten of Pentacles, One who believes money is the key to success, or if they feel money is of greater importance. So it seems like uh, these two are kind of in a dispute about money. One holds on to money, and one overly values money. So that's there. And then we get back to over here. So the Six of Wands, the Four of Cups. Now, if I want to look at this another way, unfortunately, this could have something to do with rape, somebody being successful or trying to be successful in a rape. Or it could be somebody denying somebody something and they were successful about doing that. Then I get to the Knight of Wands, uh, yeah, the Knight of Wands, Page of Cups. I don't know who this young man is. It could be the nephew. One of these could be the, could be the nephew and his wife. It could be the nephew and his cousin, the daughter of Suzanne and Barry. It could be... Barry and Suzanne's daughter and her boyfriend. Well, get some clarification on that. And then I have the Queen of Cups with the Lovers. Um, so again, this Lovers card is a choice between two. Mother, wife, wife, girlfriend, 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 boyfriend, boyfriend. Boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, boyfriend, wife, girlfriend. Um, it's just odd <clears throat> that the lovers is coming out. So it, to me, it seems like either a guy had a choice to make between an older and a younger woman. Could be two mistresses, older and a younger. Um, that could be why that widow came out. I actually want to get those. The widow and the thought. So maybe one of the mistresses is a widow and the other one is a maiden. Maybe these two are competing. Okay. We're going to get some answers, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So let's find out about this lovers. Suzanne, could you tell me about this lovers? Who is this? What does this have to do with? Cancer or Pisces male or female. Um, eight of Wands, Five of Swords, and the Moon. So communication about mind games. There was some communication, <coughs> excuse me, possibly new love coming in. 
possibly three um, women involved and a man caught up in a tree. Over competitiveness and a secret. What's this secret about? Can you tell me what the secret is about? Ten of Cups. A bouquet of flowers indicates long and happy life. Or extra, extraordinary honors and fame. Secrets about oh, possibly another family somewhere. Or wanting to start a family somewhere, being happy elsewhere. Uh, all right, let me do this. I'm gonna go through this top row and find out what these are about. So, what's this moth compulsion obsession about? The widow, thinking man, needle. Tunnel Maiden. So the moth is about judgment. So someone made a final decision. But somebody was obsessed. What is the widow about? King of Pentacles.